everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well so today i'm going to be trying kendall jenner's workout and diet and also like a few other things i thought this would be really fun i've wanted to do it for a while but i've just i've not done it so i'm going to do it now i ended up watching a video for some inspiration last night and i really really enjoyed it so i was like you know what i'm going to do that for you obviously kendall jenner is a literal icon if you haven't seen like pictures of her or instagram where have you been because i'm literally so in love with her and yeah i'm just gonna see what she eats what her workouts like i have done research i'm about to nip to tesco to go and get the food that i need because i don't have quite a bit of the stuff i need and then i will be back to do breakfast let's go to tesco i love a good tesco trip also, by doing this video, I'm not saying that you need to eat like Kendall Jenner, you need to work out like Kendall Jenner, because for most people, this probably would be unhealthy. She eats very, very clean. I'm not blaming the girl. She is a model, but it's not right for everybody. So don't be following this diet unless it suits you. I know for a fact it doesn't suit me after the research I've done. I just thought I'd put it out there. I was going to put it in the comments, but I thought I'd put it in the video so we have had a slight change of plan because basically it's absolutely chucking it down with rain like it's literal flood weather so we're actually not going to tesco at the minute we're going to go around lunchtime while i've got some time to spare i'm going to do the kendall jenner makeup and she actually posted a video on vogue's youtube um, of her doing the makeup and with every step i do i will put what she does like in the screen obviously we don't have the same products but i'm just going to follow like what steps she does at kendall jenner makeup time so she did say that she starts off with like moisturizer stuff like that but i have already done that this morning don't want to over moisturize my face but then she goes in with foundation i was so shocked to like see that she wore foundation but she wears like a really really tiny amount and I've never done that before, so I don't really know how it's going to pan out. But I've got a foundation brush, which is not mine, because normally I just use a beauty blender. Right, I'll start again. I've just had two PR parcels come through the door. What was I saying? Basically, it needs to look like I've got nothing on. And I'm going to attempt, but I've never done my foundation like this before. Like, I'm not being funny. How do I even, like... <laughs> I feel like that's me being a bit ridiculous. Oh. I don't really know what I'm doing. Also, I've not got a mirror. I'm using... The screen in this that was like the tiniest bit of foundation but it's like okay i see where she's coming from now light coverage paris never does this well right i'll finish the rest of my face and then i will come back to you right so i've just done the foundation ignore the eyebrows she actually doesn't go on to eyebrows next she goes on to concealer and she was using a cream concealer but i don't have that so sticking with the liquid and she literally just put it under her eyes on her forehead down her nose and on her chin so she just did this and then probably a lot more than me actually <laughs> but i don't like putting too much on because this goes a long way also i normally do like like one eye at a time or stuff so this is gonna dry out really quick but this is how kendall jenner does it so this is how i'm gonna do it in hopes that I end up looking like her because you know it's like every girl's dream yeah not quite and then next she uses a cream contour stick and again don't own a cream contour stick i don't i always just powder bronze um but i do have this it's just a really dark shade of concealer that i used to use here to contour that's definitely the wrong spot isn't it I don't know. I'm going to do this on both sides and blend it in. Oh! What the hell is that? Oh my god. Yeah, and then I'm going to do it on my forehead and she also did it down my nose. Ugh. So that is all of the cream contour done and then she goes on to a cream blush. So obviously I'm going to use my new cream brush from Refire Beauty from Selfridges that I got from London and I haven't used it yet so this is gonna be really interesting also I think she put it on with a brush but I just don't have enough brushes to use for like every single different product she said she uses like loads of creams because she likes a dewy look and she actually doesn't powder her whole face whereas before I like I would um but she doesn't so okay so I use my finger for this side and I feel like it looks really cute you can't really see it um but I just dabbed it on like that I'm also glad I chose this color really nice 
and then blend it in but normally i would use a powder blush and like just do it everywhere that is quite cute actually quite like that mm. beautiful while this is on i will do my highlight but obviously i've only got a powder highlight sorry kendall but my highlight is just amazing i've had this almost three years i've had this three years in february can highlight even go out of date i don't know but it's max soft and gentle use it all of the time i've still got it three years later she probably doesn't put highlight here but i am sorry breaking the rules but just glowing so i've just brushed off the powder under my eyes and then she goes in with a powder bronzer so i've just got a mac it's called refined golden the one I use every single day. And like I said, like she literally puts powder bronzer over cream without, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna look really dodgy, but maybe hers doesn't because she's got like expensive stuff. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't look right, does it? And then she also puts the same bronzer in her eyelids. She does use a eyeshadow brush. But I don't have time for that, so. And then she literally does nothing with her eyebrows. Like she literally just brushed over them, which is really stress, really stressing me out. Because I like to do soap brows. I hate my eyebrows like this. And then next, she does some brown eyeliner, and I'm pretty sure she uses eyeshadow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I use some brown eyeshadow to do a bit of eyeliner. Just like little bits and then mascara i mean she did her eyeliner a lot better also that one went, that one went really wrong then she curls her lashes and literally lathers her lashes in mascara she doesn't wear lashes like fake lashes or anything um which a lot of the time i do to be honest now i've got that mascara and i feel like it's changed the whole look like, I actually don't look too bad now. Okay, I like makeup, right? Now it's time for lips, which is the last thing. Obviously, she uses a lip liner and a lip gloss. If you don't use a lip liner and a lip gloss, you're doing it wrong. And she used something that I've never heard of in my life. But I'm just going to use a NYX lip liner and a NYX butter gloss because this is what I use every time I do a makeup. So, lip transformation coming your way. They will look a lot better than this. So I've just done the lip liner and now I'm applying a gloss. Um, she used a Kylie Jenner lip gloss. Again, don't have that, so, okay. Okay, the makeup look isn't bad. The only thing I don't like is the eyebrows. Nah, the eyebrows aren't for me. I love doing soap brows and she also didn't carve her eyebrows out. But the eyes, the eyes I really like. The base isn't too bad, you know. Do I look like Kendall Jenner? Please say yes, please say yes. Just, just satisfy me. I apologise for the light and I literally have no idea what you can see right now. Back from Tesco, I am betraying them by using a farm food bag, but I've got everything that I need for today. And obviously I'm gonna start off with breakfast even though it is 12 o'clock. We're gonna have to deal with it. And for breakfast, she has fried eggs with like avocado just like not mixed together but together with a side of oatmeal so i just got these like sachets of oats that you just put in the microwave because i'm lazy and then got two avocados and i don't like avocado at all never tried it but i don't like it and i have tried guacamole i swear that's the same thing if i'm making that up i'm sorry but if it's guacamole if that's avocado I'm not gonna like it but i love eggs i love oats it's just these bad boys that i don't know how they're gonna taste so breakfast is served my porridge slash oatmeal is in there just cooling down because it's really warm and then i've got my two fried eggs that one the yolk broke and fuming but that one's a pretty good egg and then obviously i've got the avocado i didn't put loads on because i know that my nana loves avocado and obviously if i don't like this i'll just give her the rest i feel like i should try a bit on camera and i'm actually terrified like it doesn't smell too bad it's a texture 
Oh, I'll put some salt on my eggs as well. It's on the avocado now. Am I being dramatic? Uh, I don't want to do it. It doesn't really taste of anything. I feel like it would be a lot better on toast. I just want some bread. Why doesn't she have bread? Why am I stuck to this? It is lunchtime and from me reading up Kendall's lunch online, pretty much every single one of them said that she has chicken, rice and veg. And not gonna lie, the chicken isn't plain, but it also did not specify whether she had it plain or not. No matter how gorgeous Kendall is, there's absolutely no way she's getting me to eat plain chicken. So I have added a lovely medium spice Nando's like marinade thing. It smells absolutely unreal. And then I've gone for the healthiest rice. So I've gone for whole grain because I was like, she's very healthy. She's going to go for the whole grain. She's not going to go for the white. And then I've just got some 10 stem broccoli. I'd prefer this is like my ideal lunch. But the rice is a bit dry, the veg is a bit dry, and I don't know how she can eat it like this. So I have got an extra little friend that Kendall probably isn't friends with, probably doesn't have. But all of us here are just going to forget that that's even there. It's just here to basically make me eat this because otherwise it'd be really dry and I wouldn't eat it. So my ooh, lunch is all finished, I just left a little bit of broccoli because it went cold, it literally goes cold so quick and I didn't fancy eating cold broccoli. But that was honestly like one of the nicest like chickens I've ever had, like that Nando's thing was absolutely unreal. Also I've just thought I need to tell you that obviously this video is like diet, like following her diet and workout, obviously I haven't done any workout yet. But I am going to the gym tomorrow morning, I think, with a friend. So I might as well do her workout then because it is 24 hours. So it would still count. Like it'd still be within the 24 hours. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing a workout now. I'm doing it tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure it's been like half an hour since lunch. But I am really hungry. So again, according to my research, for a snack, Kendall actually has carrot sticks and hummus but i have a really intense fear of carrots i've literally just never liked them and i tried them again and they weren't bad but the thought of eating carrots right now is like no so i've kind of like compensated and i've got some cucumber sticks literally just cup of fat cucumber and then hummus and kendall has my heart because hummus is the most amazing thing in the world this was my favorite snack in lockdown it was literally breadsticks and hummus constantly cucumber and hummus what a gorgeous gorgeous snack so 10 out of 10 from me let's just give it give it a little taste test i mean i know it's gonna be really nice to be fair i'm not a big fan of cucumber but with hummus it's just it's a different story look at that fat bit of hummus mm. oh my god oh wow mm. It just tastes amazing and it's really healthy so because this is reduced fat hummus because i have a feeling that kendall would get that because she's a skinny legend so i'm back in the same place getting really boring but my room's literally just the best for lighting downstairs it's a little bit rubbish but we're back for snack too because that hummus and cucumber wasn't feeling like it was nice but i've still got a little hole got a little hole to fill that's the right word and she does kendall does have this for dessert but i kind of want it now so i'm gonna have it now as like pre-dinner dessert we'll go with that the absolute icon has a twix and this gets me so excited because twix is one of my absolute go-to chocolates i love her right now because i haven't had any chocolate today that's not like me so i'm going to I admire this like it's the crown jewels like this is just look at that oh, it's so nice like so nice look at that ready ready let's see if it's string like stringy mmm 
10 out of 10. And then as you can see, this is a double Twix. Does Kendall have the second finger? Stick, whatever you want to call it. Probably not, but... So it is dinner time. It's about five o'clock, but I won't be having my dinner till about six. And when Kendall decides to go out, when she goes to like restaurants and stuff, she always gets margarita pizza. So I'm going to have that even though I'm not going out. I just really fancied the pizza. So I was like, you know what? She does have it. I'm not going out, but I mean, I'm still allowed to have it. So I bought a margarita pizza from Tesco earlier. I will go downstairs and show you that in a minute. Just had to move that light because I literally look like the devil. But that's the last meal of the day. Like, I'm not hungry, like, at all. Like, I'm quite full. But yeah, I won't be showing you eating it on camera because I'm going to my granddad's. And me and Jensen are just going to have half the pizza each because it is a big pizza. And I don't think she'd eat it all because I can't manage a full pizza. So I don't think she'd be able to. Maybe she would be able to. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'm having half a margarita pizza and I cannot wait. Oh, it's quite dark. But um, this is the pizza that I have. As you can see, compared to head size, it is a very big pizza. So yeah, I just can have half of that with my brother. I promise I'm not naked. This is just really low. But I can't wait. Oh, the plant is in the camera nice i prefer something like pepperoni chicken but it's pizza so i don't care at least it's not like healthy hi so it's now actually monday and the last time i filmed was saturday and i'm in a bit of a rush because i am going to the gym now i'm finally doing kendall jenner's like workout i'm not gonna be doing the whole thing but i searched up on google like what workout she does and she has a personal trainer and she said something like i don't like cardio but i'll do it so i'm going to do a bit of cardio she has a ab workout and it's all on google there's like a video on youtube and stuff like that i'm going to see if i can fit that in if not i'll do it when i'm home so yeah it's gonna be a very cardio based workout maybe a bit of weights because she said that she will lift weights as well like she prefers to lift weights so i'm going to try and get some footage at the gym i'm going to see if my friend will film me because it's a lot easier but yeah i will see you at the gym i actually can't wait i haven't been to the gym in like five days and i miss it Am I addicted to the gym? A little bit. It just makes me feel so good. So, gym time. Let's go. As you can see i'm in a very different setting i'm actually in my nana's bathroom because i'm stopping here tonight but i've come to end the video i hope you enjoyed i really enjoyed doing this video i mean we all want to live kendall jenner's life and this video has made me want to live her life even more and if you want to comment down below any other celebrities you want me to like try out their day or the diet the workout whatever comment down below because i'd love to do some more celebrities 
and yeah i hope to see you in my next video bye